this is Pooja Snayam and uh, this is our fifth experiment. The aim of our experiment is used to use the given data set to build a SVM model that is a support vector machine model. It is uh, used to learn the classifiers and uh, the data set used here is the sonar data set. From the samples we drag and drop the sonar data set and uh, at the same time we also drag and drop the support vector machine. We do the needed connections over here and first we run it. When we run it, we get a kernel model that is the SVM model, support vector machine model. It is actually a linear model which is derived by using the linear combination of various input variables. And here we, the function, the function that we derive here is also uh, the multiple of the attributes, weight of the attributes and the attribute itself. And if the values are above a particular threshold, then it is classified as the class A. And if it is below a particular threshold, it is classified as the next class. So here what we have to classify is between the uh, rock and mine data set. So here we have an offset of 0 0.207 and uh, the weight of the attributes are also given. Going back to the design, in order to check whether this model is accurate and the performance of the model, we use the close cross-validation operator. We use a cross validation operator, we drag and drop this. We do the needed connections. After doing the needed connections over here, we go to the validation. We have two separate parts for one for training and the other for testing. In the training part, we include the support vector machine operator. We drag and drop it. And uh, in the testing area we use the apply model operator as well as performance classification operator we do the need connections over here now when we see the SVM operator, we have parameters on the right hand side. We have kernel type. It means that the kernel type can be linear as well as non-linear. If you want to select a linear one, then we have options like radial. Radial which is combination of exponential functions and uh, polynomial, neural, etc. And uh, the standard kernel type is a linear. So we use a dot over here. And then this another important parameter is a C. C is uh, generally it's used whether to see whether uh, the SVM model should be focused on either robust or should it be generalized or should it be tuned. So depending on the value of C, we uh, change the uh, type of the model. For example, if the value of the C goes on increasing, for example, 100, 1, 2, 100, 500, 5000, what happens is that the model becomes more focused on the training example, gives more impact on the training example. If the value of the C is less, it goes on reducing, what happens is that the, it becomes more generalized or more robust. So after we run it, we get the accuracy that is of 78.86 percentage. We have a kernel model over here showing the different weights, etc. Here is the example set um, showing us the number of examples. There are 280 examples and the attributes over here. In the performance vector, we get accuracy of 78%, which is good. But this accuracy can be increased or decreased depending upon the C value that we saw over here in the SVM parameter. So the C value and the other parameters play a vital role in determining the accuracy of the SVM model. In this way we can calculate the performance of the SVM model. So this was our experiment on developing a SVM support vector machine by using uh, the given data set that is the SONA data set. So I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.